Welcome to our PySpark tutorial. Today we're tackling a common issue that many data engineers encounter. Our viewer has imported data with float numbers formatted using commas instead of dots. They want to know how to convert these commas into dots within a PySpark data frame. They tried using a user-defined function, but it didn't work as expected. So let's explore how to effectively handle this conversion in PySpark and whether there are better alternatives. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To convert commas to dots and float numbers within a PySpark data frame, we need to ensure that the data type is correctly handled. First, let's understand the issue with the current approach. The user attempted to create a user-defined function, or UDF, to replace commas with dots. However, the UDF is returning a string instead of a float, which is likely causing the issue. Instead of using a UDF, we can utilize the built-in functions provided by PySpark. Specifically, we can use the regexp replace function to replace commas with dots directly in the data frame. This approach allows us to replace the commas and cast the result back to a float in one step, making it more efficient and straightforward. Finally, remember to check your data frame after the transformation to ensure that the changes have been applied correctly. You can use the show method to display the updated data frame. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To convert commas to dots in a PySpark data frame, you need to use a user-defined function or UDF. First, import float type from PySpark.school types. Using a UDF with replace will return a string so it's essential to convert the result to float. Here's how you can do it. Next, read your CSV file with the appropriate delimiter and apply the UDF to the desired column. Finally, print the schema and show the updated data frame to verify the changes. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.